What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video I'm going to be going Funko Pop hunting to the flea market so let's get right to it. So not only am I Funko Pop hunting at the flea market but I'm going to be doing a little challenge while doing that and that is simply the question of can I only spend one Canadian $20 bill on Funko Pops today? My limit is only going to be $20. Am I going to be able to do it? I don't know. You guys will have to see during this Funko Pop Hunt what I find. I might be able to. I might go over my limit. I don't exactly know. So let's get right to it. All right. So now we are at the flea market and I found a booth with some Funko Pops here. So there's some cool ones here like Negaduck with a very old previews exclusive sticker. We got Robin with Baby from Teen Titans Go Ultron from Avengers Age of Ultron. There's some Avengers Infinity War. And then I noticed this pop of Valentine from... Uh, Kingsman I believe it is which I have not seen that pop in years so it's cool to see that today reverse flash goofy uh, one of the newer pops from My Hero Academia, amongst some pretty cool pops here. And over here I found a shelf of loose Funko Pops, which the first one I found was Vince Gilligan, who is the director of Breaking Bad. I noticed right over here, I believe, there is a couple of Star Wars loose pops. And then there is that old Funko product, I can't remember the name of it, like Blocks or something like that. We do got some more Star Wars ones right here. And then down here I noticed a loose pop of Summer from Rick and Morty, so it's really cool to find some uh, loose figures here and I just noticed now because I do play the game let me see if I can zoom in right there and it's not focusing in there we go it's Raptor from Fortnite and then I had to acknowledge the alien as Woody from the alien remix lineup that is loose right over there that's a pretty cool figure I already own it though so unfortunately I won't be getting it today so now we're at another section here of a different booth with different Funko Pops, which is pretty sweet. We found actually a Chase Catwoman for the DC Bombshells lineup, which is pretty cool to see a Chase here. We got the original Morty for the Rick and Morty lineup, and you can definitely tell because of the way the box is, because they definitely changed the box over the years. Same with this Rick Sanchez one for the Rick and Morty lineup. And see, that actually proves my point. There is the, I guess, current style box, I would say, for Rick and Morty. You got Mr. Meese Beth and Lawyer Morty. I see up here we have Maximilian Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! But I, two things. First, I already own this pop and it is over the budget of today's challenge video here. And there's a couple of Star Wars ones. We got Yes from Wreck-It Ralph or it's Ralph Breaks the Internet, whichever movie it is. Among some really cool pops, there's even, once again, Another Fortnite one of Rex, which it is $15, so if I were to buy it, it would be in the limit, but that would mean I can only spend $5 left after that. So we are at another booth here, and we found some sweet Star Wars pops, like the OG blue box Star Wars pops of Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Maul. We got the San Diego Comic-Con 2018 Cad Bane, which is pretty cool. Some what looks to be more OG Star Trek pops. We got a set of NFL pops, which is perfect because as I'm recording this today is the Super Bowl so maybe some of these players are in the Super Bowl I don't watch football too much so I don't know exactly who would be in the Super Bowl out of all of these Funko Pops but what really catches my eye is this Dr. Manhattan that's going for $200 here unfortunately not in the price range for today's video but maybe something I'll pick up in the future don't know we got the black light it looks like or not black light but it's like day of the dead Gabriel Iglesias pop that they released and then we have even the 4,000 piece Emerald City Comic Con Glow in the Dark Treasure Skeleton from Emerald City Comic Con, I believe 2021 this release. And then I also noticed a signed Alexa Bliss pop here going for $200. And it does say JSA on the bottom of the sticky note there to tell you guys that it is certified uh, by JSA. So that's really cool. And I can kind of see the sticker on the bottom right, right there on the side of the box. And then we got Undertaker, which I already have. We got the original Hulk Hogan. We have Robin Sparkles, which I actually do have. Mr. Owl. And then some really cool pops down here, including a Chase Guy LaFleur 
from the Montreal Canadiens. And then I thought I'd show off this really cool display of Funko Soda figures. Right here we see Oompa Loompa, Duck Dodgers, Carnage, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, the Pop Podium, which is really cool. I kind of want to get one of those. And then more of a soda display here with Batfink, which you don't find that often anymore because it was one of the OG Funko Soda figures. Cusco, Martian Manhunter, Huckleberry Hound, once again an OG Funko Soda figure. Chernabog, Montez, or Gomez Adams, whoops. Uh, Bingo, Snorky. And as I go to the other side of this case, there are more WWE pops, which is always awesome to see for me because, of course, I am a huge WWE fan. We got the Christmas Fiend Bray Wyatt glow in the dark, regular Fiend Bray Wyatt, which I do own, Mick Foley, Otis, Becky Lynch, Dude Love, Bailey, Sasha Banks, Kevin Owens, the original John Cena, which is really cool to see, and especially this version of John Cena with the green and orange attire is cool. Hulk Hogan, Eddie Guerrero, Undertaker, or two Undertakers, Bianca Belair, Ronda Rousey, John Cena, amongst some other really cool ones, the new Brock Lesnar Amazon exclusive, and the Macho King Randy Savage. All right, so we are at another booth here. Some really cool Funko Pops. I'll show you guys this part first, where there's a decent amount of Fortnite Pops. There's even a Crash Bandicoot Pop, which is the flocked one right here, which I do own this already, so I can't get this today, but it should be a set that I could be hunting for in today's video because a lot of the pops are cheap for Crash Bandicoot. So I could complete this $20 Funko Pop challenge uh, with the Crash Bandicoot set since there still is a decent amount of pops that I need to look for for that set. Over here, we got some Simpsons pops, including the glowing Mr. Burns previews exclusive, which I'm gonna assume it is the common, yes it is, where the chase is all green, Nelson Muntz, Lisa Simpson, Majora, Emperor Montimus, and we got Kearney from, I believe it was New York Comic Con this year, or this past year, I should say. Some of the newer South Park pops, actually, like the boy band versions of Cartman and Stan. Oh, and Kenny right there. Can't forget about Kenny. You kill Kenny. And then we do have an office pop here, which I am looking to complete the office set, but I do have this pop already. There's the Vince Gilligan I showed you guys out of box earlier, but it's an inbox this time. Veronica Lodge from Riverdale. We got some pops from, I believe it's Happy Days, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. Happy Days. We got Peacemaker, Kevin Malone from The Office, and then some Rugrats pops. There's a lot of pops to go through in this section. And the one thing I always enjoy looking at this specific booth, as you guys probably would see in Top Pops videos, are the pops in the cabinet, which we got Emma Frost from Comic Fest 2017, Buzz Off, some more Masters of the Universe. Let me see what's on this side. The Cosmic Ghost Rider, Kratos from New York Comic Con. I remember seeing this in store a long time ago, but it's cool to see it in person again for the first time in a long time. We even have Chuckles from San Diego Comic-Con 2019, which I do own with the con sticker actually. And while you look at that, one of the Alien Remix Pops that I'm actually still on the hunt for, which is the Alien as Kevin, which was a San Diego Comic-Con, or in this case, Summer Convention 2020 exclusive. It is $45, so that is above the price range for today's video, but you never know, I might go over that. And then something worth showing are these crazy grail pops of Billy from Saw, and then we even have Jason from Friday the 13th, two of them autographed, and it looks like there is probably some sort of JSA, uh, it doesn't look like it, maybe it's on the back though. And then now we're across from that booth with some cool ad icons, but what I wanted to show you guys is actually an unannounced foodies pop of the Sprite bottle cap, which I believe it went up on the Coca-Cola website, but I think certain retailers are actually getting it with this new Funko Special Edition sticker, which is really cool to actually see this pop in person because I don't think I would have been able to see it until months after when like GameStop or other different retailers had gotten it. There's of course the Foodies boxes, Green Giant. There's some Pop Rocks pops right here. Uh, such as the Sir Mix-A-Lot, we got Eddie Van Halen, DMC, uh, Mike Durnt, which I already have because I love Green Day, so obviously I had to get those pops. And then there's some cool pop albums right here, like the Welcome to My Nightmare Alice Cooper pop albums. I think this is the newer Notorious B.I.G. pop album, the Rush pop album. Now look what the cat dragged in. It's what Empty that? Shady. Just randomly <laughs> popping out of nowhere at the flea market. He's looking at the Sprite bottle cap right there, along with the other ad icons. I know he is really liking the Meal Squad pops. He's looking at the 90s, 90s Coca-Cola bear right there. Yep. And then one thing I noticed here, and I'll zoom in right here, are the pop 
movie posters, which is the first time ever that I'm actually seeing these in person. I haven't seen these at any retail store. So there's the Dorothy and Toto from The Wizard of Oz. We got the Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket for the Disney lineup. And that is the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey uh, with the, I believe it's like the bucket or something. And then we have the Snow White and I think it's Woodland Creatures it says, but I'm really digging this Dorothy and Toto pop movie posters. And then I thought I'd show off some of these harder to find pops, such as the more artist series Freddy Funko from the Box of Fun in 2021. We got a Freddy Funko as Chucky from the Box of Fun, I believe that was 2020. We got some pops, I believe that's like Hanna-Barbera. We got two of the Chase Mermans from Masters of the Universe, the old specialty series Man at Arms from Masters of the Universe. And then behind here is another Freddy Funko. I think it's Ping Pong Freddy Funko. And then we got the Chase Funko soda figure of the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas, which I actually did obtain during our huge 130 Funko soda can opening. So it's really cool to see other people have this figure also. All right, so I noticed at this booth, a couple of wacky wobblers, some Funko products that were made a long time ago, which is always really cool to see at flea markets, like this Dudley Do-Right, the Mountie, which I do have in Funko Pop form, Snidely Whiplash, I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced, but then we also have Ricochet Rabbit right here, and I know some Star Wars ones in there, but we quite can't see that, but over here, we do have the Wacky Wobbler of the Stormtrooper Pig from, I believe it was a crossover of Star Wars and Angry Pigs, which is really, really awesome to see here. I thought I would show off this poster for this Niagara Diecast toy show because myself and MD are actually going to have a couple of tables at this toy show March 4th, 2023. Only $2 or a non perishable food item to get in. So if you're looking for some Funko Pops, definitely hit us up at this. And there's MD right there. See him at the toy show also. Absolutely. All right. So I am back from Funko Pop hunting at the flea market. And was I able to spend only $20? Unfortunately, no. I had spent $40 on one Funko Pop today, and I'll show you guys exactly what Funko Pop I got. Alien as Kevin from Up for the Alien Remix lineup, the 2020 Summer Convention exclusive. So there is the front of the box there. The side profile right there where it says Kevin Pop, and then you got the art form there with the number 758, I believe it is. And then some of the pops that are featured in this set on the back, which I believe is Wave 1, which is Buzz Lightyear, uh, Dory, I'm trying to read these backwards and in small font, so it's difficult. Carl, Dot, Zerg, Doug, Russell, and I believe that is the 10-inch Alien as Woody, which I uh, do have. And I believe now I have the entire first wave, and I'm only like four pops maybe away from completing this set. So there's the side right there. Uh, pretty cool pop, honestly. And then you know what? I might as well take this out of the box also to show you guys what it looks like. So here is the pop out of the box and look at the detail involved with this pop. Obviously you have Alien with kind of like the, the straight face right there where he's not really making any emotions. You got the top part of the costume of Kevin right there. And then there's also detail of the outfit right here also where basically it is Kevin himself with the or herself I should say because Kevin is a girl uh, with the different color feathers and that's really awesome one of the more unique pops for this alien remix set which originally this pop I believe was $45 and then I tried narrowing it down to 35 I believe because on PPG there is the prices for both the con sticker and the shared sticker and because selling at 45, yes, that's the con sticker price, but I didn't want to pay that for the shared sticker. So it was like 25 US. So converting it to Canadian, that would have been 30, 35 maybe. So I tried haggling down to 35 and they said, uh, I can't do 35. Would you do 40? Knocking down $5 off of it. And I ended up saying yes, because regardless, even if I would have found it for the Canadian PPG price and then have it getting shipped, it probably would have been the same price anyways. So I thought I'd get it right now since I've been waiting to get this pop for a while now and I never got my chance to get it on, let's say, an Aussie Collectibles because I didn't know that site existed at the time to get Comic-Con exclusives. And like I mentioned, I believe I'm only a couple pops away now from completing the Alien Remix set. But anyways, guys, that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. One, two, three, I'm out of here.